I've had my Roomba 981 for about a month now. Apparently, according to the app, I've used it 18 times for a total of 11 hours, which is quite a lot. I did make an initial review on it with just my initial thoughts on the Roomba, and I hope you check that out because that does have some additional information on it. But today I'm going to talk to you about the pros and cons um, that I've noticed in the last month, and then what I think about if it's worth buying or not. So let's get started. First, let's start with the pros. I think that this Roomba is great for pet owners. It picks up pet hair very well. So if you have a pet that sheds a lot, this is great for you. Also, if you have anyone in your household that has long hair, this might work well for you because some of the versions of Roombas and other versions of um, some robot vacuums have bristle type brushes that end up getting long hair stuck in their bristles. But this version of the Roomba has something called a debris extractor, and that makes it so that the hair doesn't get tangled in it as much, and so it's much easier to maintain the Roomba if you have someone with longer hair. The second pro for this Roomba is that I, I don't think it gets stuck on things as often as some other robot vacuums that I've had. You just have to make sure that you have the whole floor as clear as you can of wires and things that it might get stuck on like dog toys or you know toys if you have kids or something like that. It did get stuck once on the cord to my blinds which was definitely a challenge to get out of the wheel um, and then another time it did I thought I did a good job getting the wires out of the way for my alarm clock and my charger and unfortunately I didn't and it ended up taking my alarm clock down but that was my fault. I didn't do a good enough job putting those cords away. It also did sometimes get stuck on a couple of my rugs, and I'll talk about that in my cons section of this video. But overall, it doesn't seem to get stuck as much as other robot vacuums that I've had in the past. Another pro for this Roomba is that it does a pretty good job at thoroughly cleaning your floors. You may at first think that it's going to miss something, but if you just let it do its job, when you come back, it'll have everything pretty much cleaned up. Other robot vacuums I've used, sometimes I notice it misses dust bunnies or it misses spots on the floors, but I haven't really noticed that with this Roomba. Another thing I like about this Roomba is that it cleans in neat rows, which might not sound like a big deal, and I didn't think that was really that big of a deal when I bought it, but I noticed that when I used it on my carpets, it really looked nice. It kind of looked almost like I used a regular vacuum rather than a robot vacuum because the lines were nice and straight. Sometimes with robot vacuums it's just random lines and it doesn't really have a nice look to it, but this one looks a lot better. Again, doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but when you end up having just nice neat rows and lines, it just makes a difference in how your end result of your carpet looks. The next pro for this Roomba is that the app works really well with it. I like being able to start a new job with it or send it back to its home base. I also like that it notifies me right away on my phone with my notifications when either it gets stuck on something or the dustbin is full, and then I can immediately resolve the issue. Another great thing about this Roomba is that the battery lasts a long time. I've had it clean for up to an hour. Now it's time to talk about the cons of the Roomba 981. One con is that it has no ability for the keep out zones and clean zones, which other versions of the Roomba have that are more expensive. I do know that they have different virtual walls that you can put up, but they are expensive. So that's just something that to keep in mind when you're thinking about what you're going to buy. If you're interested in a Roomba that you can just tell, oh, don't go in this part of the room or something like that, you're gonna to wanna to look into a different Roomba. I believe that the S9 and the i7 have those capabilities, so you might wanna look into those if you're interested. Another con for this Roomba is that, in my opinion, I think it's fairly loud. Loud enough that if I were in the same room as the Roomba while it's cleaning and I was trying to watch a show, I'd probably want the captions on. I did notice that if it's far away from its home charging base, when I'm trying to send it home, sometimes it has a hard time finding the home base. I've never been patient enough to see if it actually eventually finds its home base when it's really far away from it because I end up just getting frustrated or annoyed because it's just feels like it's running and running and running trying to find the home base. So I end up just putting it at its home base. It probably eventually does find it, but I just get kind of annoyed because it takes so long to find it. 
But if it's fairly close to the charging base, then it doesn't seem to have a problem. It's just when it's pretty far away. And especially if there's objects blocking its way to get there directly. Although I did say earlier in the video that it doesn't seem to get stuck on many things, it does seem to get stuck on rugs. Specifically, it likes to get stuck on my lighter rug in my kitchen. I did talk about this in my initial review as well. And I don't use it much in my kitchen, so I can't say if it, it would really be that much of a problem. I use it mostly in my main family room and my bedroom. But when I do use it in my kitchen, I, I notice that it gets stuck on the corners of my rug. And I think it's because the rug is more thin. It also has gotten stuck one time on the rug in my family room, right on the edge where it has the fringe. It got stuck on the rug enough that it ended up stopping and I had to untangle it from the rug. The last con I have for this Roomba, and I did talk about this in my last video, is that I do think, in my opinion, it's pretty expensive. I got it on sale for $3.99, but even that was pretty expensive. Right now, it's on Amazon for $571.99. So now the question is, a month after I bought this Roomba, am I happy with my purchase? And my answer is yes. It does a really great job cleaning. It's really easy to maintain compared to other robot vacuums. And I feel like it just makes my life a little bit easier when it comes to cleaning my house. So I would definitely recommend this Roomba. Although I would warn anyone that is interested in buying it that it is a little bit pricey. And that's what Kay says.